I was given the honor of dropping the ceremony the first puck, which was a really cool experience. Uh, it was a great ovation from the crowd. Uh, definitely felt the energy in the room, so it was truly appreciated. Yeah, I do remember the people that I served with um, overseas as well as back home. But uh, it, the, the special bond and relationship you do form when you are overseas, uh, those, those, those uh, relationships last forever. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I always think back to those guys. They're all doing well. Um, and I keep in touch with them pretty much on a monthly basis. Uh, and we're all scattered throughout the country and all over the world. So uh, it's, it's, it's a day for me to look back at those that I was with. And, kind of reminisce on the good times we had. Friday night in early November brought with it a sense of deja vu for the Thunderbirds. Much like on opening night, the Thunderbirds pierced the St. John's defense with Senna Akalazzi's first of the year breaking the ice. Offense has not come easy for the Thunderbirds in the young season, but thanks to another stable performance from goaltender Red O'Bara, tonight's early edge belongs to Springfield. Despite bouts of offensive struggle, the T-Birds' competitive fire, true of a Jordy Kinnear coach club, is far from burning out. Midway through the second, the game takes on an edgy feel. You just got to think about winning, you know, you just got to stay business-like and not let that stuff get to you. I mean, I've been in the league for six years, I, it doesn't bug me at all, and you've got to do that stuff, it's all good. I mean, you just got to stay even kill, not let the emotions get the best of you. With St. John's continued attempts to lure the T-Birds into penalty traps, the game enters the third with little room for error. As the final period begins, it's the Ice Caps who make the first crucial error. Against his former organization, Stephen McCauley's goal puts Springfield up to stay. The Ice Caps' last gasps quickly go breathless as the T-Birds seal the deal. On any team, I, I think, you know, you have to have a combination of a lot of different personalities. And uh, you have to have your leaders, you have to have your followers. You're not going to have all Bobby Orr's out there. And you're not going to have all fighters and, and, and physical guys. You're going to have fancy dancers. And, but you need a good goalie to start off with. So I, you know, if I was starting a team today, I'd start from the net out and, and then the defense and then the forwards. And, but you really have to have four lines today to go anywhere. On Saturday, past and future generations of Boston Bruins came to Springfield. Names like Rick Middleton and Reggie Lemlin could once again be seen taking the ice in a Bruins sweater thanks to an alumni organization that raised support for the Big Brothers Big Sisters. 
call today, or yesterday actually, from the guy who runs Big Brothers and Big Sisters asking if I would like to play. And of course, I would love to hop on the opportunity and play with all these great guys. I guess I got my phone number from my high school hockey coach. I just graduated from Louis Charles last year, and they got my number from him, and then just contacted me from there. I had a good time, good experience with all the Bruins players. Um, my first goal, got a pass right in the slot, picked my head up, saw the goalie was down, so I just went up high with it, and luckily enough, it went in, it was a good shot. It was actually awesome having all the ex-Bruins players come up, congratulating me. It was just a great experience overall. It was awesome going out there and realizing like who you were playing with. It's not, it's not one of my friends, it's actually a professional that's in the Hall of Fame that's done amazing things in hockey. It's, it's just mind blowing to be out there on the ice with them. It was a great experience, so I loved every second of it. Later that night, the Thunderbirds faced Providence and goaltender Anton Hudobin on assignment from the Boston Bruins. Despite building a 3-1 lead, the T-Birds would end the second period trailing by one. It would take 20 shots and a Paul Thompson goal to even the score.
The team knows what it needs to do, and they're battling every step of the way. Focus on the process, and the results will come.